On the church bulletin, it reads, every member a minister. Can you explain what that means? I believe that being equipped with the Word of God is intended to make me uh, ready for service. You know, the Word of God is intended to equip the members of the body of Christ for works of service. So you don't go to church simply to be entertained. You don't go to church simply to to become a, a Bible gourmet where you listen to a message and begin to critique what's being said. You ought to go to church in order to worship God and to learn to serve Him. And so every member of minister is just another way of reminding the people of Ephesians 4, 11, and 12, where it says He gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. And so the intent of the pastor-teacher is not to entertain, but to equip. And so when people come to church, to our fellowship, they're not going to get some soft-pedaled message which is basically going to encourage them to just continue living carnal lives. But I want to encourage people to live lives that glorify God. And one of the ways that you glorify God is through your acts of service, the, the works that you perform. And so I want our, our fellowship to be aware of the fact that We've been saved to serve. Jesus said the greatest in the kingdom is a servant of all. He said that the Gentiles lord it over others. Those who are great, they, well, those who are, are great in them, they're called benefactors, as he says. They're, so they have a, an upside down mentality of what greatness really is. For them, the greater you are, the more people who serve you. But in the kingdom of God, it's the opposite. The greater you are, the more people you serve. And so I want the body of Christ to know that we've been called to serve the Lord. And so that's why I put that on, on the bulletin. Every member a minister.